Wolfgang Kohler was born January 21st, 1887, to a German family in Tallinn, Estonia, previously part of the Russian Empire. He was a German psychologist and helped develop Gestalt psychology. In 1909, Kohler got his doctorate under Karl Stumpf at the University of Berlin. In 1911, he and Kurt Kafka were subjects in Matt Wertheimer's perception experiments at the University of Frankfurt, which led to the production of Gestalt psychology. Kohler's research was interrupted in 1913 when the Prussian Academy of Sciences invited him to the Anthropoid Research Station, where he studied problem solving in chimpanzees from 1913 to 1920. Within these seven years, Kohler was stationed at the Canary Islands, where he studied the insight learning within the chimpanzees. While in the Canary Islands, Kohler was a spy for the German military.
1917, halfway during his stay, he started to write The Mentality of Apes, which clearly consisted of the insight learning of the experiments within the chimpanzee. In 1920, Kohler wrote Physical, Desault, and Rest in Stationary States, as well as co-founded the Desault Psychology Journal. In 1921, Kohler accepted professorship at the University of Göttingen. In 1922, he succeeded Stumpf as director of Psychology Institute at the University of Berlin. This gave Gestalt Psychology international recognition. In 1929, Kohler published the book Gestalt Psychology. After dealing with the hostility of both his supervisors and the Nazi regime, he published Conversations in Germany in 1933, the last anti-Nazi article to be published openly during the Nazi reign. While writing to the Ministry of Education in Germany about the unfair treatment of Jewish professors and the psych department in general at the University of Berlin, he gave the William James Lectures at Harvard University in 1934. While attempting to resign from the University of Berlin, Kohler was a visiting professor at the University of Chicago and became professor of psychology at Swarthmore College in 1935. In 1938, Swarthmore College published his William James Lectures, and in 1940, he wrote The Dynamics in Psychology, still working for Swarthmore. In 1955, he retired from professing. In 1956, he won the APA's Distinguished Scientific Contributions Award, and in 1959, he became the president of the APA. Some other accomplishments that he had during his life were the National Academy of Sciences Award, the American Academy of Arts and Sciences Award, numerous honorary degrees, and the Ehrenberger or Honorary Citizen of the University of Berlin Award. In 1967, he died in Einfeld, New Hampshire. Kohler influenced psychology today by figuring out that the nervous system processes that happen aren't inherited or learned, that the nervous system influences perception and cognition, and the nervous system as a whole is more important than the sum of its part, parts, which is in general the idea of just all psychology. If Kohler had chosen a different path in several different areas of his life, psychology today would be, would be different. If he weren't such a strong patriot, he might not have taken the position in the Canary Islands and learned what he did about the chimpanzees. If he didn't protect the University of Berlin with as much veracity as he did, the Nazis could have gotten to it sooner and we might not have the psychological knowledge that we currently do. And if he hadn't moved to the United States when he did, there's a chance that all of his knowledge could have been lost or used for worse tactics at the hands of the Nazi Germans. Kohler's contributions to the field of psychology consisted of the insight learning within primates and his contribution to Gestalt psychology. <laughs> Thank you.